Hello there, just a very quick update on the hydroponic systems that I've got in my greenhouse. These are pretty much all ready to be harvested now and in fact I have been harvesting them. These are Chinese cabbage, I think they're also known as Napa cabbage. I've harvested most of the spinach but it's coming back and we've got, I don't know whether you can see that, oh yeah, we've got a very big Swiss chard there which could do with harvesting a little bit now as well. Since I got the nutrient mix right for this system, these plants have gone absolutely berserk. This is an unheated greenhouse, but it's double glazed. It's more like a conservatory and it really never drops below 10 degrees. It's so well insulated. Even with the windows cracked open, you get 10 minutes of sun and it can warm up to 20 degrees. It's, it's uh, well, it was a good investment, put it that way. me. I'm going to have one of these for me tea so I may as well lift it out and show you. There you go. <laughs> Growing in the middle of winter in my greenhouse up north in my NFT hydroponic system. I am super impressed with this. Everything has just went really well. And as I say, this is soon going to be harvested. It's actually going to be replaced with um, like cherry bush tomatoes. So there's 22 places for plants. I think I've got 30 tomato seeds set away, so we should get at least 22 good plants from them. They'll go in and I should just have like a little shrubbery in here of tomatoes. So I'm really looking forward to getting that going. And this is where I've got the tomatoes and all my chilies and everything. Basically just put in this propagator to try and get them a head start for this year. Um, I can't remember the name of this thing though. I don't think it's a Vitapod, it's something else. But it's, a, as you can see, it's a pretty big propagator with a couple of sun blaster lights on. Lovely and bright, they're on timers. And as far as the temperature goes, I think I set it to 20 degrees. Uh, what is it there? It's currently 21.6. So that's still okay. The seeds apparently had to be about 21 degrees, so that should be fine. Just lift this up and show you what's in here. That's all the mini tomatoes in that back tray. And then we've got various other sorts of tomatoes. There's purple ones, black ones. Oh, what else? Atomic grapes. They did very well last year. There's all sorts of chilies. Um, a big tree of coriander, because I love coriander, and it goes very well with chilies and tomatoes. We've got a tree of purple kale, pak choy, and basil. All that stuff goes well together. And they maybe just look a little bit dry. I could maybe do with giving them a watering before I leave. And this system here that you saw in the previous video, it had pak choy in, all of that's been harvested, and I've filled it with lettuce seedlings, which are doing pretty well. So there's gonna be a nation of lettuce in there, but that's not the end of it. I have planted up my vertical towers again. Uh, how many's in here? That one, two, three, four times 20. So there's 80 lettuce in there. I'm going to be giving lettuce away left, right and centre. And rather stupidly I just planted all the same type as well. So we've got all the same type. I am going to get sick of eating lettuce, you know. Now this is very quiet because I've turned the water off. But the water basically cascades down the inside of here. And it, it just keeps the, the, uh, the roots moist. This is uh, expanded clay balls, also known as Hydroton. And it goes under and quite a few other different names but that seems to be the best media to use in here I've used some of my uh, bio gravel filter media I think that's a little bit too heavy and it keeps the roots a bit too wet doesn't really let enough air circulate in it and the rock wool type stuff that I tried in here just makes the roots all soggy as well so that's no good for this system now these plants were put in here about a week and a half ago I think as little two leaf seedlings and already they're starting to put out other leaves and they've got quite a good colour to them as well. I don't know how well that's going to come out 
on the video but they're a lovely green color so they're obviously very very happy in there in fact that one down there is a very big one that's doing really well so the pump basically shifts water down all these tubes 24 7 although i do have it set to give it a little bit of a break about five or six times in that 24 hour period so it will go off for a quarter of an hour about five or six times in that 24 hour period that seems to be working very well with this particular crop the lights come on i think about seven o'clock in the morning go off about six o'clock at night that seems to be about right as well and they really seem to be enjoying their lives in there so far and as far as hydroponics projects go i have set some hydroponic onions away i saw this on a polish channel on youtube and they seem to do really well now i saw this on a channel on youtube it was a i think it was a polish channel maybe it's a czechoslovakian channel um, and they seem to do really well these are still at the stage where they're putting leaves out but soon i'm expecting these to swell up i've done basically the same method where the roots just dangle into the water and hopefully I could lift that up enough so you can see the roots yeah there you go I mean god look at them roots they're going absolutely berserk so I'm really interested to see how well they do I think there's about 40 odd maybe 50 onions in there so if they all swell up to about two inches two and a half inches there should be enough room in this very small space for all of them and they've just got a nutrient mix that I explained in the last video set to what is it somewhere between 980 and 1100 and something parts per million and it seems to be working well especially for the leaves hopefully it will produce the actual onion itself if not I'll just harvest these and use them in salads you know you can still eat them spot on now I'll probably do another update when I get all of those Chinese cabbage out and get the tomatoes in there so it might be a while possibly three maybe four weeks or so before i do an update on that but i'm really interested to see what i can do with tomatoes in there i've kind of got the leafy veg sorted you know if i can grow it in the middle of the winter i can pretty much grow it any time as long as it's not too hot in here um yeah the non-moving water seems to be doing well the onions seem to be blasting away so I will be experimenting with more things I've got another two or three containers to set up as hydroponics so I think I might put kale in one of them I certainly pack choy in the other one and I'm not sure what I'll put in the third tray but it'll be something that I will definitely eat everything that I've produced over the winter has tasted great the nutrient mix is obviously working well now I don't just use this nutrient mix by itself the base water that I fill the systems with comes from the filters that operate on my big pond so already the the water is nutrient rich and it's got a lot of stuff that you might not find in the prepared nutrient solution so what I do I fill the container up it's like a 100 litre one there, there's a 375 litre one back there. I fill it up with water from the pond, filters. I'll take a reading and then I'll add that prepared nutrient mix to get it up to where it needs to be for a specific crop. It's certainly working better than last year when I didn't have one of these things which I dip in to tell me where the nutrients are at. These are pretty much essential. Uh, a very good purchase because I lost pretty much everything in those vertical systems last year the nutrients were just off the scale I was just lashing them in and not testing I had nothing to test them with this year already they're off to a flying start so I'll give you guys an update in a few weeks thanks for watching I'll see you next time